Central Pennsylvania, the town of Bloomsburg, for the fourth annual four-wheel and off-road Jamboree Summer Nationals. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Lee alongside Army Armstrong. And Army, this track will provide some great excitement for the race fans, but I'm not so sure the drivers like it. No, there's not a lot of happy campers in the pit area, and i tell you why. Normally, Gary, as you well know, the finish line is located at the end of the last car. Okay, the second jump, last car, you're at the finish line. Well, the track officials have added 100 feet past that point. The drivers who are normally shutting down at the finish line area, it's not the case anymore. you got to throttle up and go another 100 feet. And I'll be very blunt with you. The drivers just do not like this track. But the fans will love it. We'll take this break and come back for all the North Central Pennsylvania are bathed in sunshine as we come to you from the Bloomsburg Fairgrounds. Hi, everybody. Gary Lee along with Army Armstrong. Today's monster truck competition featuring a 12-truck format. Your fast qualifier, Bigfoot 8 with Andy Brass. Round one, he'll take on Nightmare. And Snakebite from places unknown will take on No Problem. Also in round one, Taurus, the third fastest qualifier against Nightlife. Gary Porter's Carolina Crusher, number four against Micro Machine. And a pair of new trucks we haven't seen, the Black Stallion. He goes up against Kimosabi and King Crunch against Above and beyond. And there is a look, Army, at your fast qualifier, Andy Brass in Bigfoot out of St. Louis, Missouri. A look at the racetrack with the additional 100 feet past the last set of cars. And Steve Hess in Nightmare. Hess is going to represent the GMC brand. Bigfoot, he's going to be representing the Ford people. We wait for the first lineup. Two different theories of trucks. Bigfoot, the latest state-of-the-art truck. Nightmare in the far lane of Hess. He's running with the old-style truck, and I think this first race is going to show you there is a difference in the design of the trucks, Gary. Andy Brass, the fast qualifier, has lane selection. He has taken that right lane, gets the good jump. This one's over. Boy, it was over. It never really had a chance to get started. Gary, keep an eye on that last 100 feet. That's The drivers are just a rumbling in a pit area about that extra 100 feet. They just flat do not like it, and they really don't like the lane that Hess is in. We're going to keep an eye on that lane later on today because they say that's going to pay dividends in the accident department. Army, the problem child in the left lane is a dip in the final 100 feet that really tosses the truck about. That will be a problem area, and there is a look at Snakebite with Colt Cobra. Cobra is out of Cobra Creek, Colorado. A lot of C's, if you don't mind. They built that truck for one reason. That was to beat Bigfoot. There's something there. We're going to be following that story, but no easy task, Gary Lee. John Moore, the no-problem Ford Bronco, the full-size Ford Bronco. First-round competition here at Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. A rather unique race course. And, well, Snakebite is away, but John Moore is dead in the water. Yeah, definitely. Well, that last 100 feet, Gary, look at here. Oh, there goes the Hydra barrier. That was a snake bike going right through that barricade, which is filled with water. you got to remember, water weighs 8 pounds a gallon. What they're trying to do is to come up with some kind of a system to absorb energy. And really, for a 10,000-pound truck, the barriers work. They did slow the truck down. But it all happened, Gary, where? In that last 100 feet. Looking at Snakebite coming right at you, you can see John Moore over there. He has halted before he ever got to the first line of cars and right through the barrier. I think Snakebite was trying to angle away from that dip as he went over the last set of cars. There's a look at no problems. John Moore still in the cockpit. Let's check in with the Snake Man. Here's Army. Real quick, what about the water barriers down there? Did that hurt your truck at all? No, the water barriers are a, uh, definitely a step in the right direction as far as this racing is concerned because it's going to slow these things down. If we do hit something, it's not going to tear your truck up. It's going to mess up the field a little bit. It is a great motorsports innovation. You hit one, it serves as a truck wash and a shower all at the same time. As we look at Wayne Spozanic from Jupiter, Florida in Nightlife, that is a Chevrolet monster truck, and he goes up against a brand new creation, Jack Wilman Sr. will be driving Taurus. Here's Army. Jack Wilman out of Granite City, Illinois, has been a player in monster truck racing for many years. We're going to look at his new truck right now. I'll give you a first-time shot at this vehicle. Notice the cut tire. It saves a little bit of weight on each of the cleats. We'll tell you more about that a little bit later. Some of the interesting facts about this truck, again, in order to save weight for the new Taurus, they run a completely tube chassis, okay? That saves them about 2,000 pounds of weight. Now, they got to weigh 10,000 pounds, but when you save weight here, you can put it somewhere else. They also save weight on the new Taurus by going with a full fiberglass body. What do they do with the weight that they're saving in the chassis and the body? Very simple. They can put it in the engine compartment, but the engine is actually moved back in the vehicle to give you a better balance. And, of course, another thing about the Taurus team that nobody else does, and I can't understand it, 
Look at the Snoopy nose on the 91 Chevrolet. They're the only guys that do it. They can see better than anybody on the circuit. Snoopy nose on a monster truck. Well, what do you mean, Army, a Snoopy nose? That should be a slopey nose. No, that's on the doghouse of the truck. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, I even brought that up. Side by side over the first set of cars. Can Wilman do it in the brand new Taurus? Yes! Boy, driving it out that back door, both of them, Gary. By the doghouse, he won that. One by, by the length of the doghouse. Snoopy nose, win. <laughs> there you go. So the brand new Taurus truck will uh, advance to the quarterfinals as we take a look again. Both of this is a good, just a good old time race. Look at this. Yeah, this is a good shootout between a couple of Chevrolets. Once again, Gary, the last hundred feet played a role in this one. Well, the showcase of this four-wheel and off-road jamboree is the side-by-side -side monster truck racing. A good crowd on hand. On the winner, lose. Gary, he actually beat Torres to the last jump. Look at this. He went over it first. But the finish line is 100 feet further. And Jack Willman takes the victory as we look at the Carolina Crusher, a real popular driver. This is Gary Porter, and John Breen drives the micro machine. Breen's based out of Jeff City, Missouri. Porter comes out of North Carolina. These guys have gone head-to-head -head many, many times, both of them driving Chevrolets. Well, if qualifying is any indication, the Carolina Crusher should have an easy time of this, and indeed, Gary Porter does. Oh, he makes it look easy. Yeah, but let's go back to the start line real quick. Remember a moment ago, John Moore was sitting there looking kind of disgruntled and confused. Now John Bream sits in the same lane. They may be having a problem with these kill boxes. Porter makes straight as an arrow run. He's going to be a happy camper. He's ready to go to the next round. Let's go back near the start-finish line and uh, check in with John Breen. I don't know what the hell did. It shut off. I thought the kill box shut it off. Huh? And here's Army Armstrong with Gary Porter. Gary, an 8.011. That's quick, but you got to go against quicker. Taurus. Right, Taurus. I didn't run the truck, you know, as hard as I could that round. You know, a micro machine, something happened to him on the line. And I didn't run the truck as hard as I could. I still have more left for it. But look at the air that he is getting and what turns out to be almost a buy run for him. Now we look at a pair of newcomers to monster truck racing. We have not seen these guys. A good-looking Jeep Cherokee. This is Kimasabi. And Kimasabi is driven by Jack Brady out of Paoli, Pennsylvania. Now let's go back to qualifying and watch this wheel stand, Army. What happened? The nose dug in and then it kited up and broke the rear steer on him. Well, that was back in qualifying. The crew has had a chance to repair Kimosabi, and now it matches up against Mike Botters from Hagerstown, Maryland, in the Black Stallion, a Ford pickup. So a couple of uh, new combatants on the tour. Both of these guys are a little bit nervous. This is the first time, Gary, they've stepped up and run at this level of competition. Look for some kamikaze shots here. Well, Mike gets a good jump, and he will take this victory over the second set of cars. Oh, we got problems. Trouble again. right there. He's going on over. High sided on the big end of the track, Gary. That's like hooking a rut in a sprint car. He rolls on over as the crew will run over to check to make sure that Mike is okay. We can see him moving there in the cockpit, obviously encased in a full roll cage. He won that one, had an easy time of it. Not really sure why that truck turned. No, he actually came off the last jump straight and hooked on him to the left. He, okay, he's okay. That's the word. But man, there was a lot of action on that run. Like I say, the crew's going over. They're checking with him. Of course, he's concerned about his wife, as she is he. He says, honey, I'm okay. Yeah. The truck safety devices did exactly what they were supposed to. Army, let's look again. He looks like he's having no trouble whatsoever on this run. Watch the land here. He's straight. Everything looks good. He's straight right now. Now it comes around on him. I can't explain that. He did not hit that hole down there. No. The truck was very stable, very secure, and very straight. Okay, we saw his run, but this is what was going on in the other lane. Look at old Kimo Sabi. I think we've set a track record for tearing up equipment in one run. Here's Mike with Army Armstrong. First of all, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did, uh, did you have any idea when the truck was going over or that it was going over? Well, I felt the truck go to the right real hard, so I tried to correct my steering, and uh, it just it just wouldn't come back. What about the ramps? Everybody's talking about the ramps. Uh, could that have been a factor here? I, I think we're getting a lot of air. Uh, I, I think uh, the ramps have a good bit to do with it, but we just need to tune our trucks for the ramps. So we'll clean up the mess here in Bloomsburg and come back with more of round one competition.